Good evening, teacher. Hello, Irene. Good evening. How are you? Very well, thank you. For asking and you? Good, good. I'm doing okay. Thanks. How was your day? I went, my day uh, was nine because I, uh, I am rest. Oh, so you didn't work today? No, it's my off day. Oh, good, good. So are you always off on Thursdays? No, only for this week. Oh, okay. So what days are you usually off? Uh, normally it's the Monday. Oh, okay. So you work Saturday and Sunday too? No, only to Monday to Friday, but uh, it's a, a politic in my in my work because it's very happy. Uh, Okay. No All right. All right. Good. Good. Hello, Ellie. Ellie or Ellie? Ellie. 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 Hello. How are you today, Ellie? I'm fine. Good. Good. Did I you... work in my house. Okay. Good. Good. Did you have a good day? Yeah, okay. I did. So you're doing home office. You're a teacher, right? Yeah, I am a teacher. Good. How many students do you have? Um, for eighth grade, um, 30 or 30, 35. Okay. All right. Good, good. Hello, Williams. Good evening. Welcome back. Thank you. Good evening. <laughs> How was your day, Williams? Um, it was very relaxed today because I had a home office. Good, good. Yeah. So you don't have home office every day? No, no. Um, almost times mm -hmm. I, I have fill out. You feel work, work, yeah. Okay. All yes. right. Yeah, some people prefer home office, some people prefer the office itself, you know, everybody's different. I prefer to stay, stay out over all, all the time. <laughs> so, stay you, out yeah. so you so you don't like to be working from your house? Uh sometimes yes, but uh, almost times I prefer going out. Good, good. All right. Yeah, in my case, most of the work that I do is home office. And and I like it, you know, like I don't need to worry about traffic. I don't need to worry about transportation, gas, time. And so it's, it's, it's okay. It's pretty good. Mr. Ramos. Hi, teacher. Welcome back. Thank you. That was a long week, huh? Yes, two weeks. <laughs> okay, good, good. How are you, Jose? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. What about you? I'm doing okay also. Thanks for asking too. Okay, so it's, uh, welcome back. It's 8.04. Can somebody please tell me the date? October 29th. October 29th, what year? 2020. Yes. How many more days before we finish October? Uh-huh, anybody? How many more days before we finish October? Two days. <laughs> two, two, two days. Two days, two That's days, it. yes. Do you have plans for Saturday? No, I don't. No, huh? Not yet. Not yet. Yes. Okay, so, you know, some people celebrate Halloween. You know, they use uh, that occasion to go dancing, go to a disco, uh, have a few drinks. So, <laughs> Anyway, so let's talk about yesterday. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? 
Vilma, Eli, Eli, and Irene. Hi, what is it? Hi, teacher. Hi, Vilma. I don't know about the topic because <laughs> I couldn't. Um, I couldn't. I couldn't to come. Be with you. I couldn't. Come. I couldn't. I couldn't come. Oh, I had the impression that you were absent, that that you were present. Sorry. Ah uh, no. No. Okay. You you were on vacation. Okay, good. I remember that uh, you learned about expression. Which expressions? Um, about positive you and too? negative negative. I remember. Okay. Right. So uh any questions about that topic in particular? The, no? the, the infants or children? Uh huh. About your childhood. Sorry. Yes. Uh, and what was the structure we were practicing exactly? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. uh, used to and would. <clears throat> exactly. Used to and would. What? Remember that. What, what is the function of used to? What's the function of used to? Used to? I, I used to play barbells. I used to fly kites. I used to fly. Usualmente, no. I used to. No. no. Usually, no. Uh, I solia. Uh huh. Yes, solia. So when 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 do you use the word solia? Present, past, or future? Past. 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 So so we apply used to to talk about activities that we did in the past, but we don't do anymore, or vice versa, things that we didn't do before, but now we do. So I can tell you, when I was a kid, I didn't used to eat vegetables. Because I, I don't like vegetables, but now I do. I don't like vegetables now, but I know that they're good to eat. So mm -hmm. I used to eat fruits every day. I love mm -hmm. fruits. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. So you, you, you use um, used to or would to express activities that you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. Used to. What is the other? Um, would. would. Good. Uh, what is the function? Uh, to talk it's about. The same. Yeah, no. it's the same. <clears throat> it's the same. You use it to talk about activities that you did in the past, but you don't do anymore. I would like. I would like to. Uh, so, uh, but it's. Different. I would like to. I would like to do. No. Or I would like to eat. Ah, uh -uh. it's, 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 it's a different function. It's a different. Ah, function. Okay. So okay. would in in according to yesterday's session would is used exactly the same way as we use used to. So one example, when I was a kid, I would live downtown San Salvador. Yo vivía en el centro de San Salvador. I would live downtown San Salvador. Or I can perfectly say, when I was a kid, I used to live downtown San Salvador. So- It's the same, okay. yeah. Used so to. same same function. Yes. Same function. Okay. Exactly. Good, 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 good. All right. Any questions or comments? Good. Using good, the bird is also using simple present as well. In as base used form. To. Base form. Okay. Yes. So I remember when I was a kid, when I was on vacation, I would fly kites. I would play ball with my neighbors. I will play marbles. So you use the base form uh, of the verb. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So how do you say no le hacía caso a mi mamá in English? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay. Wouldn't. Listen. To my mom. To my mom. So when I, I was a kid, I wouldn't listen to my mom. 
No le hacía caso. Ah. Or you can say, when I was a kid, I didn't used to listen to my mom. And the message is exactly the same. Now when my mother speaks, now I pay attention to every single word that she says. Because she used to advise me, Francisco, don't do this. And I said, yes, mother. But now it's a different story. Anyways, any questions or comments before we go with our first activity? No? So our first activity, let me show you the document. Uh -huh -huh. Right here. See, where are you guys? Can you see the document? Yes. Okay, what is the topic? Jokes. 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 Yes. Jokes. 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 Yes. Uh, do you like jokes? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's going to be today's. Uh, Joke. conversation so take a screenshot if you can if not i already send it to your whatsapp chat uh let me prepare this create rooms and here we go <laughs> I can't. Loading, loading, loading.
some types of jokes, but uh, why the joke? I don't like so much. Uh, for example, I love the serious uh, friends, and they use uh, a lot of jokes, but um, I don't know. I don't like. I, I am a serious person. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Good. I, I my, my face don't don't help me, but it, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Really? Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's hard to uh, believe, but we 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 believe you. Okay. Okay. Please. Please. <laughs> uh, in my case, I like to, to do a different is is not um conserva conserve conservador I don't know. <laughs> it is uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I agree with you because uh -huh. normally a man says this uh, this kind of jokes. Yes, usually, yes. Um, yes, usually the men apply this kind of joke. Mm -hmm. uh, number five, what makes a, what makes a joke funny? Uh, uh, what makes... Difficult that that situation in my in my thinking, because when when you make a joke with a a, a relative or a good friend or a confident person, you can, can make. But when you start in a meeting with the people you don't know, it's very dangerous because you don't yeah. you don't know. What is the limit for the another person in sensibility? Because men, I am my impression, but the people eh, like to make a, a job. Just around. Uh, mm -hmm. Racist, uh, racist, not much, but sexual, yes. But here it is not too much common in our country that kind of joke. I think it's more common in the USA. Is they make a lot of jokes about racism. Uh -huh. For example, in the high school, they uh -huh. bullying the another people. Even they can attack in a in a bad way the other person. Yeah, racism. Yes, it, it, it's it's common when we are in in studying, or we're in school or or the university. Or... Yes, yes, the, it is common.
it's a joke, it is offensive, it is an unrespect, or it is uh, out of place, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Sure. Mm. Yeah, I am. Yes. And, and sometimes you have different people around you. So uh, this, this show uh, the own respect the other person has to you. Has to you, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. It's... Which question are you discussing? The last one. OK. Yeah. Uh, you are talking about uh, sometimes it's better. Shut up. I arrived uh, almost to practice so minutes. Yeah, I know. No, yeah, are you there? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, the kind of person that use like a technique in order to call the attention for the, the, the group before to express the ideas or do some presentation or do the song jokes. Meanwhile, they are just doing some presentation, something like that. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> do, you, do you usually do uh, jokes? <clears throat> do you what usually make jokes? Yes. Do you? Do you, teacher? <laughs> In my uh, case, no. <laughs> I do. Um, if I have confidence with the person, if it's a close relative or a good friend of mine, I make jokes to them. Okay. I do, but you know, like, uh, but there is a limit also. It's not like any joke, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. the jokes are, are okay. <laughs> like, like you, like you said, is the the how good is the relationship for right. each other? 
Right. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Okay. okay, let's go. Really? Oh, I'm, I, I live in San Salvador. In San Salvador. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right. Any questions about or comments about jokes? Jokes. jokes no. no. Do you make jokes to other people? No. No? Mm. Okay. So you're because I don't like to the other people apply jokes on me. Exactly. Yeah. So it has to be something reciprocal. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Exactly. Because if you make sure. jokes to other people, then be ready for anything. Yes. Yes. If the if the jokes, if the joke is bad, <laughs> no. <laughs> right. No, I like, yeah. Okay. Who called I, I, I I don't know. I don't know if the joke is the same, like this, to say uh, broma. Yeah. Or mm. chistes. Bromas or chistes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments? No. Okay. Now we're going to practice some listening. Let me. Let me look for this. Um, where is this? Right here. Uh, give me a second. Did we do the one about Peter called us up and invited us for supper? No? Did I do that one with this group? Okay, L listen to it and let me know. Part two. Can you hear the man say part two? Yes. yes, I can. Okay, here we go. Building skills. Speaking. Exercise S1. Concentrating on individual consonant sounds. So the only thing you need to do is pay attention and repeat what they say. One. Peter called us up and invited us for supper. What did he say? Peter. <laughs> okay, Peter, what did Peter say? <laughs> I didn't understand the other. Okay, uh, what yeah, is... Please, please. Sure, sure, I'll repeat it again. Do you remember what is um, a synonym of the word dinner? What is the other form to say dinner? So like if you're graduating from high school, university, and your family offers a dinner as of a celebration, what, is, what do you say dinner or do you say another word? Listen carefully. Exercise S1, concentrating on individual consonant sounds. One. Peter called us up and invited us for supper. Uh huh. Peter called us up and invited us for supper. 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 Peter called us up and invited us for supper. Listen carefully. Yeah, supper is a is a word. The sign synonym. Yeah, it's um, a synonym. 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 Yes, it's U P P E R. Supper. Supper. So in El Salvador, when, um, now remember, every day we have dinner. Before class, after class, every day we have dinner. But if that dinner has a particular meaning, like the example that I was giving you, like uh, uh, you graduated from the university and your family is offering a dinner, you don't say dinner, you say supper. How do you spell supper? No, how do you spell? You see the chat? Yeah. 
supper with double p okay okay so for december 24th do salvadorians have dinner or supper 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 okay. exactly all right so listen carefully one peter called us up and invited us for supper can you hear it yes peter called us up peter called us up and invited us for supper and invited us for supper uh -huh. all right who can repeat that peter called us up and invited us for supper you know peter called us up and invited us to supper good keep peter called us up and invited us for supper yes all right number two two the robbers escaped in a stolen cab and drove to their hideout but they were eventually caught one more time two the robbers escaped in a stolen cab and drove to their hideout, but they were eventually caught. What did she say? The robbers escaped in a stolen and cab and drove their hideout. Nice. Listen carefully. That's good. Two. The robbers escaped in a stolen cab and drove to their hideout. What did she say? What is the name of Robert. the person that with a gun, he says, give me your cell phone. Robert. Robbers, Robert. uh-huh. Robert escaped in a stolen car. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. The robber escaped in a stolen cab. Remember that cab is another form to say taxi. Mm -hmm. cab. Yeah, cab. 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 C A B. C A B. C A B. B as in baby, yes. Listen. C A B. Two. Taxi. The robbers escaped in a stolen cab and drove to their hideout. Yeah. And drove for the hideout. 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 What is the meaning of hideout? A place when they don't they go to the the state between the people don't find exactly escondite so okay. the robbers mm -hmm. escaped drove manejaron <clears throat> where did they drive Hide up is, is escondite. Hide up. Yes. Hide up. Hide up. Hide up. But they were eventually caught. But they were eventually caught. Eventually. They were eventually caught. At the end, catch up. Exactly. Yes. Eventually, her classmate is saying it means at the end, al final but they were eventually caught. So eventually doesn't mean eventualmente. It means at the end. Mm, al fin, al de, al final. So if you go to the gym every day, eventually you will change your body. If you save mm. money, eventually you will have enough to buy a car. Ah, okay. Yes. So eventually means yeah. al final. Eventually. Okay, so I'm going to play it for the last time. Try to get as much information as possible. Listen up. Two. The robbers escaped in a stolen cab and drove to their hideout, but they were eventually caught. Okay, volunteer. Mm -hmm. The robbers eventually the robbers escaped in a stolen cab exactly and drove to the day high 
and drove to but their hideout. Did. But, but they were eventually caught. Excellent. But they were eventually caught. Pero al final los atraparon. Very good. Nice. Here we go. Number three. Pay attention. Take notes if you can. Take notes if you can. Three. The children went on a scavenger hunt and the victorious team was given a prize. Oh. That's very short. <laughs> Listen carefully. And the victorious team was given a prize. The children went on a scavenger hunt and the victorious team was given a prize. Prize. Mm. Three. The children went on a scavenger prize. hunt. The children went on a scavenger hunt. The children went on a scavenger hunt. And the victorious team was given a prize. And the victorious team was given a prize. Listen carefully. Three. The children went on a scavenger hunt and the victorious team was given a prize. Uh-huh. And what is the meaning of scavenger? Scavenger says. Scavenger hunt, yes. Scavenger have, you, hunt. have you heard about open season in the United States? What's open season? Hunting. Exactly. Hunting. So scavenger means un ave de rapiña. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Scavenger. So the children went on a scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. And what is the what is the rest? The, vi the Victoria team was the given a prize. Team. Exactly, given a prize. and the victorious team was given a prize. Was given a prize. Exactly. Yes. Have you ever gone hunting? No. Never. No, never. Okay. No, I haven't. Okay, good. Here we go with number four. Listen carefully. Four. The dog followed the caddy around the golf course. Listen carefully. Four. The dog followed the caddy around the golf course. Who is the main subject here? The dog. dog. The dog. What did the dog do? Follow the caddy. Follow the caddy. Follow the caddy. Where? Around the. Around the. I don't know. <laughs> golf course. The golf course. Golf course. Yes. Golf. So, the game. The, yeah. The game. Golf. Uh -huh. Yeah. Listen carefully. Four. The dog followed the caddy around the golf course. So the dog followed the caddy around the golf course. Caddy, caddy. Where's caddy? Caddy. caddy? Anybody knows caddy? Like a cat. But, uh, yes. Caddy. Kitty. <laughs> no. Okay, if it's a cat, it will be kitty. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh. But, but he says caddy. Uh -huh. That is like the auxiliary from the golf uh, play game, no? Okay. Caddy, C-A-D-D-E, yeah, C-A-D-D-I-E, right? Right. So it, it makes reference. Have you seen the cars that they use in a golf uh, uh, okay. field? Uh, That's the caddy. Yes. That's the caddy. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Right. It's, it's the car. Yeah, the it's the car. car. Yeah, the mini car. Mini car, right. Mini car, okay. Yeah, the mini um, car they use in golf courses. Car is, is with a Y. Like a golf car, no? Like a? Golf car, or is that the other name, or no? Um, I, I don't know if there is another name for, for caddies, 
but you can explain it very easily. Like it's a small card they use in a golf course. Okay. Yep. All right. Can, here we, yes. Can you write the the word carry in the last word of the sentence, please? Sure. Ca caddy or caddy. I'm not sure which one is spelled correctly. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a faster way to find out. Uh, caddy. A second. I cannot find it. Can someone help me? I think it's the second one. Yeah, the second one. Second. Yeah, the second one. Caddy. Okay. Okay. So here we go with the last one. Five. Schools can do more to encourage students to take on the responsibilities of learning. <clears throat> Schools and okay. listen carefully can do more to encourage the dog followed the caddy around the golf course the school. five the schools, schools can do, can more, do more, more to encourage students to take on the responsibilities of learning schools to take a learning responsibility Okay. Schools can do more to encourage students. Uh, Schools can do more to encourage students. Responsibility. On their responsibilities. Listen okay, carefully. Learning. learning, yes. Yeah, learning. Yeah, yeah, learning. Five. Schools can do more to encourage students to take on the responsibilities of learning. Yeah, to take on their responsibilities of learning. Yes. Encourage. All right. Any questions about these exercises? Can you guys touch type? Can you touch type? Can you touch type? What is that? Okay. What, what is the meaning of... Give me a second. Okay, what is the meaning of type? Type, people type. People. Okay, but if, when you're using the computer, what do you do? Right. You type. type. You type. Yeah. Okay, so what is touch type? Uh, what is touch type? Touch type. I think I explained this word before in the la in the previous uh, level. Right with the keyboard on the computer. Right without looking at the keyboard. Yes. So, uh, like, if you're taking notes and you don't need to look at the keyboard, that means you're a good touch typer because you only touch. You don't need to make. Uh, you don't need to look at the at the, at the keyboard. So you only touch so you touch type uh, do you touch type do you touch type yes I, yes, I do yes, okay you know that is something um, that you learned just by using the computer you know you use it you use it that one day you become more independent from looking at the keyboard and next thing you know, you just check in the monitor like that. Okay, um, any questions or comments about the, um, about the listening we just finished? 
Now, come and we need to more practice. <laughs> right, right. And you know, yeah. that, that yeah. exercise we were doing, you were just uh, paying attention and taking notes. Now, the, yeah. following, the following exercise, it's, about, it's a small conversation and they ask you questions uh, related with the information. So look here. Listen, share screen. Mm -hmm. All right, so please pay attention. Here we go. Questions four through six. Can you hear the, the man? Yes. Okay. Listen carefully. Take notes. Take notes. Your notes will help you. Refer to the following announcement. ComSat Laboratories has an immediate opening for innovative electrical engineers with communications and hardware design experience. The position requires a BS or an MS degree with a minimum of five years experience in high-speed logic design. We are a cutting-edge firm in the field of communications and are looking for independent and creative professionals who are willing to put in long hours to get the job done. If this description fits you, then we want to meet you. Please send your resume, including salary history and requirements, to ComSat Laboratories. Closing date is September 10th. Okay, who can paraphrase that information before we go to the questions? We are hiring someone for a position. Okay, all um, right, what else? Playing with the position. Yes, yes, sir. Uh huh, yes. What else? Yeah. In, in One more time, William. Like an engineer. Uh -huh. yeah. what, what kind of engineer? Electrician. Electrician. Okay. All right. And uh, what are they asking from the candidate? What does the candidate need to do? Experience. Mm -hmm. What do they need to do? So, like, if that announcement is interesting to you, what are you supposed to do? A minimum of five years experience in high experience. Okay, okay, so those are part of the requirements. Okay, so oh, that position sounds very interesting. I, I'm interested. So what am I supposed to do? Send the resume. Send the resume. And, Send the resume. And, and what else do you need to include besides the resume? Salary history. The salary history. Yes, the salary history. Uh, why do you think they need the salary history from the candidate? Why is that necessary? Uh -huh. Why is it necessary? Maybe they need to evaluate if yeah, the company can pay like the, the salary. Right he had before exactly yeah. so imagine that this person says well i'm making uh, i've been making five thousand dollars a month for the past two years maybe five thousand dollars is too much for the company okay so here are the questions listen carefully number four what type of personnel is comsat looking for what are they looking for What kind, of what kind of personality? No, what kind of personnel are they looking for? Janitors, accountants, <coughs> uh, police officers, security officers? Engineer. Engineer. Engineer, yes. Number five. What is the minimum number of years of experience required? 
They say it's years? Five oh. years. Five years. Okay. Five years. Yes. Number six. What must be included in the applicant's response? What must be included? The resume. Resume. The resume. Resume. If, uh, if you go to the United States, people say resume. If you go to England, people say CV, like we do it in Spanish, right? So what else besides the resume? Close the door. What else beside the, 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 the resume? Include the salary history. Exactly. The salary history. All right. Any questions or comments about this audio? And here we go with the last one. Pay attention. <laughs> questions seven through nine refer to the following announcement. Arden Incorporated is offering qualified applicants the opportunity to work and earn money while being trained in the field of public relations. If you are looking for a career opportunity with a fast-growing major corporation, and if you are willing to get by on $20,000 during your first year while in training, you will have a real chance for future advancement. Call the Arden Employment Division at 509-555-1272 today between 9 and 5 and ask for a public relations trainee application. Public relations trainees must have excellent writing and communication skills in English. You will be asked to submit, together with your application, a letter explaining why this opportunity is right for you. Okay, who can summarize what she explained? Who can summarize it? Uh -huh. The requirements for the opportunity of work. Okay, and what is the position they are offering? Yes. Public relationship. Public relationships? Yes. Okay, what else do you have from the information? I understand that the offer is said you can learn while you uh, receive a money uh, uh, for that. So the training is paid? It's paid. Yes, yes, the training is paid. Okay, so let's go to the questions. Number seven, who would find this position attractive? Who will find that position attractive? Person who has uh, communication skills. Uh-huh. Yes, person who has communication skills. And also prove that uh, writing a letter and send for the company, for the offer, uh, why uh, the people thinking this is the correct person for that position. Exactly, very good. Number eight, how long does the training last? How much time is the training? Anybody? Um, a month. Okay, let's go to the last question. <clears throat> Number nine, which best describes an applicant? Okay, what is the profile of the applicant or the candidate? Uh -huh. Anybody? So what is the description they mention about this, uh, 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 about this position they have, they're offering? Looking for a career opportunity? Okay, someone that is looking for a career opportunity. Or find a growing. Right. Someone who wants to start making money 
uh, as soon as they want because the training is paid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's nine o'clock already. Do you have any questions or comments? No? No. 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 Okay, so thank you very much for your time. I will see you, my goodness, Tuesday. Tuesday. We don't have classes Monday. Remember, we don't have classes Monday, yes. September 2nd, but we will have classes Friday. Friday. Wake up. So we yeah. go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So okay. don't forget. Have yeah. a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye.